Hi, I'm Sean Rowland from the Research Council's UK Global Challenges Research Fund team and I'd like to just share a few hints and tips with you on how to apply for ODA and GCRF calls. So firstly, I just wanted to bring to your attention some of these key differences between the first and second collector fund call. In particular, for the second collector fund call, which is the Interdisciplinary Research Hubs call, there's a primary focus on the research programme although this can include supporting activities including capacity building, capability, impact and implementation. There's also a requirement to consider a broader or more complex challenge and think very carefully about how the interactions with other development challenges may affect your ability to deliver impact. There's a key requirement to take interdisciplinary approaches and in particular we're interested in novel perspectives and approaches which can help unlock the potential to deliver impact. It's also important to note that the intention is that these interdisciplinary research hubs will act as key focal points within the global research landscape. So more generally, there are a few key lessons learned from previous GCRF activities. First and foremost, don't think of these as standard grants with overseas partnerships. These proposals need to very much be centred around ODA challenges and the required solutions. Applicants also need to demonstrate that they have a clear understanding of the broader context in which the challenge they've identified sits. In-country partners, and indeed all partners, need to be appropriate to the proposal, involved in the scoping and delivery of the research, and really add value to the proposed work. Particularly for large-scale and complex programmes, it's important to support adaptability and resilience, and this may be achieved by focusing on key competencies and expertise, rather than specific work streams or staff members. It's also important to be really clear and realistic about the potential for impact. Firstly, all impacts need to be directly associated with your particular programme or grant. And also, it's important to think about the benefits, not only within the lifetime of the grant, but also beyond it. Another key recommendation we have is to learn from others. There have been a number of different GCRF awards and other ODA activities over the last few years. And so there will be people near you who have experience of developing bids, going through the assessment process and implementing the research. In terms of ODA compliance, GCRF is based on the broad OECD definition of ODA. And when we're looking at assessing the compliance of your grant, these are the three key questions that we are looking at. Firstly, which country or countries on the DAC list your proposal is relevant to? Secondly, have you demonstrated that the proposal is directly and primarily relevant to the development challenges of these specific countries? and also whether your proposed activities will promote the economic development and welfare of the countries identified. So in order to address these questions, we suggest that you seek to investigate a specific problem and seek specific outcomes. You need to provide clear evidence as to why this is a problem for the developing countries that you're working with and how the proposed programme of research will address the identified issues. It's keen to think about the strengths of the UK and how these can be used in collaboration with others to deliver. There's also a need to demonstrate that the research is internationally excellent and that you've identified appropriate pathways to deliver impact. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like some more information about GCRF, please check out the other videos or look at our website for more information.